flowing into the city. That's priority number one. We have to actually, the pro people who are bringing these guns in, the gangs that are uh, operating and profiting from these guns coming in, we have to be able to address that as well. So the moment, the first thing we'd like to do, I, I, I keep saying we're going to do an assessment, and I hope to be able to do that before our, uh, January 1st. I want to know what works in the NYPD already and what we can change. We have to stop the guns that are flowing into the city. That's priority number one. We have to actually, the pro people who are bringing these guns in, the gangs that are uh, operating and profiting from these guns coming in, we have to be able to address that as well. So the moment I have an idea what's going on, I'll be able to say with a little bit more specificity exactly what we're going to try to do on day one, because that is where we are laser, laser focused, is getting the violence to stop in New York City. You, you mentioned the anti-crime unit. We're actually going to try to retool that to be an anti-gun unit. And I understand that we need to put the right people in those positions. We need to have them well trained. We need to have uh, the right temperament to uh, tackle these problems. But I certainly believe that we certainly can stop the flow of guns. Uh, I know police officers are scared about uh, doing their jobs. I want them to know that I have their backs. We have to the support of the communities to get these guns off the street. We have to stop the violence. That is priority. That is day one. I think we have to talk about there being a balance. Judges need to have the discretion to be able to determine who is a danger to society and when and if they can release that person very quickly. That balance has to be uh, something that we discuss in the way that it shouldn't be that you stay in jail simply because you don't have the money to get yourself out. If we can give the judges the discretion to do that, I think we'd be a lot better off and that's, a, that's at least the first step. Mayor-elect Adams speaks oftentimes about emotional intelligence, and I think when you have a person who can connect with a community or connect with uh, the police as well, because the police are the community, right? Policing is about people. When you have someone who can dig in and find out what is the underlying emotion that people are feeling or what is happening in that community and make that connection, I think that's the way you build bridges and I think that's the way you should police.